All right, everybody. Here we go tonight. It is, uh, I don't even know what day it is. It's February 15th. We're going halfway through February. Can you believe it? Um, we're going to get going tonight in uh, just a couple of minutes. Uh, I just turned the top of the hour. So let me make sure that everybody's starting to roll in here, all the attendees. That's wonderful. Let us know in the chat room if you're joining on Zoom where you're from. Let us know in the comments section and Facebook if you're joining through Facebook. So uh, I'm doing this through Zoom. We're live streaming to Facebook. Um, so if you're on Zoom, uh, please feel free to put your questions into the chat as we're as we're going through here. Uh, I'll try to get to as many of those as I can as we as we're you know if I if I can do them as as I'm going through. Awesome. If I do it at the end, we'll do that. Um, if you're on Facebook, put your questions into the comments section, and then either myself or somebody from the R and D team will get back to you with uh, with an answer uh, if we're if we're able to answer what your question is. Uh, but tonight, what we're going to be talking about is what you can see here. The 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 science social hour tonight is want to lose weight get your microbiome in shape. Um, so many of you who are tuning in are probably aware that we launched a new product um, in New Orleans at the beginning of the month. Um, and we're going to have a big contest around this product. I'll, I'll talk about that later on later on in this uh, in this webinar tonight. Um, so it, and it has to do with the microbiome, it has to do with weight loss. So we'll get into there. So let me let me let me get a couple of housekeeping things out of the way first. So first of all, this presentation, uh, as I said, it's being uh, sent out through zoom It's being record, it's being live streamed into Facebook Live right now. So it's automatically going to be archived on Facebook. So you'll be able to share that it's in Amari group one, um, which is mental wellness solutions with Amari, it's open to anybody. So anybody who's on Facebook can grab this webinar, share it with somebody else. If you think there's somebody you know that might be interested in this. But there's lots of people who aren't on Facebook. And so we try to make this information as available as possible. So um, here's some other places that you can get information. So I run a blog. I just posted something to my blog about our, our mental wellness coach certification program just a few minutes ago before I jumped on here. I, I On my blog, I write about a lot of sciencey things. So new studies that come out, new research reports, um, interesting pieces of news around mental wellness or micro microbiome or gut brain axis. Um, I always post these deep dives, these science social hours. I always post these up to my blog with a link to the video that we usually put on YouTube at that point. But I also put the slides. So the slides that you see me using tonight, tomorrow will be posted up onto, onto my blog and you'll be able to download those um, download those uh, slides and have them in your personal library if you want to um, and you use them for your own education use them to educate your you know your customers and your clients um, so uh, there you can you can you can have all of that um, I post a lot of media appearances you know so sometimes on you know a, a local news station segment I might be talking about something that it, you know you know saffron for mental focus or probiotics for you know improving your mood or whatever the case may be and those sometimes can be really good educational pieces where you can just send a little three minute clip from you know the Los Angeles ABC affiliate or the wherever um, and you can send that to somebody and say look you know hey here's our chief science officer he was on the you know the news station blah 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 talking about XYZ and that'll get them interested and then you can follow up with uh, with additional information um, I have a chance on YouTube where I post a lot of these videos. Um, I have an Instagram page. The reason I'm mentioning Instagram is because I've started doing a lot of question and answering a lot of questions through Instagram. Uh, and the way and <laughs> and the good thing about that is that they're only 90 second answers. Um, so if you have a question for me, the most efficient way to do it is to visit this link right here. This is a company called any question. They're sort of trying to be like the Google of expert answers, right? So you can go to Google and you could ask Google a question, um, but you get a lot of nonsense on the internet, right? What any question is, is it's all vetted experts. So I'm an expert in nutritional biochemistry and mental wellness coaching and nutritional psychology. So those are the kinds of questions that I answer. If you go here, anyquestion.com slash doc Talbot, you can ask a question directly to me and it will go into my inbox on any question. And then when I see it and I answer it, so I'll pick up my phone and I'll do a 90 second answer to your question. You'll be notified that it has been answered. It'll go into the any question database, but then I'm also able to up 
upload that up to Instagram. And so then you can grab it on Instagram and you can share it to those followers. You can screen grab it. You can share it on TikTok. You can do whatever you want. So if you have a burning question um, that you need an answer to so that you can get your answer, but you can share it with other people who might have the same question, that that has, has shown to be a fairly efficient way of, um, of doing it. So let's get into this, you guys. So, so this is what this is what any question looks like to give you to give you an, uh, an idea. So somebody asked me uh, what nutrients or supplements help with depression. So I talked about some different probiotic strains. Why is cortisol important? That's your body's primary stress hormone. Because so because we talk about stress and mood a lot here at Amari, uh, I talk about cortisol a lot. What nutrients or supplements can help with mental energy? What's your favorite real food? Blah, 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 blah. So there's just hundreds and hundreds of questions in there. And there's experts that are not, not just me, right? So a lot of times when I answer it, I will also hit a button that will that will invite other experts to also provide an answer, right? So, you know, you get my perspective, you know, and my perspective is probably gonna, you know, involve some Amari product, which is awesome, but some other expert might might answer and they might have they might have some different insight based on based on their expertise and their training. So uh play around with it. You might you might like it. Um so let me let me talk let me talk about this before I talk about the new supplement and how it fits in terms of balancing the microbiome and balancing the signals across the gut-brain axis and helping us lose weight and, and, and release fat that we have stored and things like that. Where do supplements fit? This is a really, really important concept because especially when we talk about weight loss, what we don't want people to do is say, hey, Amari has this purple pill that helps you take fat off your body. And Amari also has this orange pill that helps you reduce fat stored on your body. All you have to do is take these pills and you'll be good, right? That is not the message that we want to send out there, right? We never want to imply that that any of the pills, right? Any of the herbals that we do or the powders or the drinks or any of that kind of stuff, we don't want to imply that that is the program. We want to always educate that the supplements are piece of an overall program. So what you see on the screen right now, supplements, exercise, nutrition, sleep, and evaluation, S-E-N-S-E. -E. This is a, 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 a construct that I've been using for coming on 30 years now, right? It's the SENSE program. The SENSE program is this educational framework that says, hey, supplements are a piece of the overall program. They're an important piece. They come first, and I'll explain to you why they come first in just a second, but supplements used with exercise are gonna be much more effective and used with nutrition, more effective, and used with sleep hygiene, more effective. And then if you evaluate yourself every few days or every week to see how you're going, am I going in the right direction? Do I need an adjustment? Is everything hunky-dory or do I need to change something up? That's the way that we should think about this. But why do supplements come first? They come first because they're the most important piece? No, they come first because if you can use a properly formulated, science-backed, research-proven collection of dietary supplements, and they can be used to increase motivation or increase energy, maybe that person is going to be more likely to exercise or be more likely to be physically active instead of sitting on the couch. If you can use research-validated, proven supplements to control appetite or modulate cravings, then maybe people would be more inclined to choose a prudent diet versus you know, binging on junk food and processed food. If you can use supplements to help people relax and recover and regenerate, Maybe they're going to sleep better. And if they get better quality sleep, they're going to have less stress the next day and more energy and more willpower and all that kind of stuff. So you guys get the idea. The, the advantage of supplements is to help us close the gap between what we know, our education, and what we do, our behavior, right? There isn't anybody who's watching me right now that, has, that hasn't heard a billion times before that exercise is important and that you have to move your body, right? We've all heard that. And yet how come none of us, or how come few of us uh, exercise every day? We've heard that nutrition is important and we're supposed to eat more whole foods and more fruits and vegetables and less processed foods and less fast foods. And yet 
uh, the the average intake of fruits and vegetables is 2.3, 2.5, 2.7, less than three servings when we're supposed to be getting 10 to 15 servings a day. What, everybody knows we're supposed to eat more fruits and vegetables, and but we don't. Why is that? Education, behavior, there's a, there's a gap there. Supplements can help us close that gap. And I'm not going to go too far down this, down this rabbit hole. We've done clinical trials to show that this is true. If we give people the right supplements and it does improve their energy and it does improve their motivation and it does help with their craving control and it does lower their stress, et cetera, et cetera. If they feel better because they're taking a good supplement, they make better choices. And it's almost a subconscious choice where they are just naturally driven and they naturally gravitate towards moving their bodies more and choosing a better diet and getting better sleep quality. And that's what we want them to do because we know that this overall sense program is going to be more effective and deliver more benefits than any one of these. None of these is more important than the others. The whole coordinated regime is what's the most important thing. So supplements can be that first little piece of the, you know, that little stone that starts a landslide, right? That's really, really what we want people to do. And so we we did this about a year ago when we launched the world's first quad biotic. This is a way that we're combining four different kinds of biotics with GBX Fit into one product. This really, this really set the entire industry on its head because nothing like this had ever been done before. And especially nothing like this had ever been done before in, in, in the way that we harness the microbiome towards the idea of body composition change. So we had a probiotic or we have, this is a, this has been, been, you know, for, for the last year has been one of our top selling individual products. We have a probiotic called Lactobacillus plantarum DR7 that we had already studied. We had already done a little bit of studies on it to show that it increases dopamine, it reduces inflammation and bloating. Um, and we, we, we knew that this could be a really, really important part of an overall weight management strategy. We combine that with a postbiotic, which is another specific strain of bacteria, Bifidobacterium lactis BPL1. This BPL1 strain had already been shown by a biotech in Spain that we were working with that it could help with fat releasing. It could, it could get your body, in a nutshell, get your body into fat release mode and out of fat storage mode. So if we do that, if we can see, if we can change the signals coming out of the microbiome, going to our stored fat tissue, our adipose tissue, and signal that to release, then we could, by using diet and exercise, we could help people bur you know, burn off that energy. So we're doing it in one way with a probiotic, we're doing it another way with a postbiotic, and then we combine those with a prebiotic, an, an acacia fiber that is a, a, a prebiotic fiber that can nourish the good bacteria in your microbiome. It also reduces cravings, it feeds beneficial bacteria, it restores the gut barrier. We're going to talk a lot about the gut barrier tonight. And then a phytobiotic, um, a, a very unique orange peel extract that helps to lower stress, lower cortisol, lower stress eating, and maintain that healthy gut environment. So you put all these pieces together and that quad biotic, we have something with GBX Fit that controls appetite, supports fat release. So you can release that fat and lose the fat that you already have stored on your body the easy way to, to, to say that is that we're helping you take it off, right? So people who have used this have seen amazing benefits. And one of the reasons that it changed the whole dynamic around the weight loss story is that it changed it from being the story of a problem with calories in versus calories out. In any of the pilot programs that we did, in any of the challenge groups that we did, um, people weren't counting calories, they weren't counting carb grams, they weren't counting fat grams, they weren't doing any of that nonsense. Because weight loss really isn't a math problem, it's a signaling problem. And if we could get all these signals around stress hormones and inflammation and neurotransmitters and fat release versus fat storage, those are all signals that go across the gut-brain axis. So we change the story from a math problem to a signaling problem. And we were solving these signals and getting these signals to be, to be going in the right direction. So people not only lost fat and maintained muscle mass, but they also felt good 
while they were doing it. And that's an important point. Anyone who's ever tried to lose weight before has probably suffered in some way or another from the whole like diet mentality that you're supposed to be restricting and you're supposed to be depriving yourself and it's supposed to be painful and it's supposed to be miserable and you only do it for a period of time and then you go back to your normal life. We wanted to completely change that whole narrative as well and say to people, look, this is something you're going to want to do, whether you're trying to lose weight or not, because it's helping your entire metabolism work better. And as a result of that, your muscles are going to work better and your brain's going to work better and you're going to get into your, you know, into your zone. And that's and that's exactly what this does in different ways than what of our what are, a lot of our other products do, which are, you know, focused on different aspects of mental wellness. This is how the mental wellness comes company does weight loss. This is how the mental wellness company harnesses metabolism around the whole gut brain axis to help take you in the direction that you want. And so ta-da, this is what we launched a couple of weeks ago in New Orleans. This is our all natural thermogenic that we call GBX Burn. It's the world's first thermogenic fat burner that is non-stimulant and works across the entire gut brain axis. So GBX Fit helps you take it off, stored fat, getting rid of that. But the other side of this story is that you can get rid of stored fat all day long, but what happens if you're just adding on more fat over here, right? Um, that's the keep it off piece. So what we're doing here is helping your body to burn off the fat before you have a chance to store it in the first place. Has anyone ever heard of roller coaster dieting before? In, in my world, in, in metabolism research, we refer to roller coaster dieting where you lose weight and gain weight and lose weight and gain weight and lose weight and gain weight. And many people go through that cycle a couple of times, maybe several times a year. You know, after the holidays, you lose weight for after New Year's and then you gain some of that back and then, uh-oh, it's bathing suit season. And then you lose weight again and then you gain it back when the kids go to school and then you lose it again and then the holidays are upon us again. So you go through that, you know, a, a, a few times and it's not, it's not very good. Um, when I was in grad school, our laboratory at Rutgers was one of the first labs in the world to show that every time you go through that roller coaster cycling, weight cycling, you you every time you lose, you're losing some combination of fat, but also muscle and also bone and also water. Um, and so what we showed was that when you lose the weight, you're losing all of that. When you gain the weight back, you're you're gaining almost exclusively fat. You're you're not gaining back the muscle, you're not gaining back the bone. Then you lose weight again and you lose muscle fat bone. And then you gain it back and it's only fat. And then you lose it again and it's muscle fat bone. And so you go through a few cycles like that. What you end up doing is you get less and less lean because your muscle is going away and you get less and less lean because your bones are going away. We we, we were the lab that showed that subsequent um uh, cycles of, of of roller coastering of weight cycling puts you at risk for osteoporosis, and so we're gonna we're gonna address that piece in just a second. So it's really important to help people lose weight, but it's also really important to help people not gain the weight back. And now Amar is the only company in the industry that has a product that works on both sides of that equation. And here's how we're doing it: we have four ingredients in this. Do we have four ingredients in the quad biotic? We have four four ingredients ingredients in this quad thermogenic, if you want to call it that. Grains of paradise, glomerata fruit. These are two different spices that are used in different parts of Africa to help with thermogenesis in a non-stimulant way. So, so thermogenesis is the generation of heat. So genic means generate. Thermo refers to heat. Whenever we're generating heat in our bodies, we're doing it because we're burning something. We're burning fat. We're burning calories. These help us generate that heat from fat burning. I'll talk more about that in just a second. These other ingredients, carrot, pomace, and a really unique fiber that we can derive from, from carrot. Um, this can help with... with um, with uh, with gut uh, gut per gut permeability, gut integrity, reducing something that we call leaky gut. We're going to talk quite a bit about that. 
And then these BCAAs, this stands for branch chain amino acids in a very specific two to one to one ratio. I'll talk more about these. These are specific amino acids that will nourish your muscles and also stimulate muscle protein synthesis so that as we lose weight, we're not losing muscle. When we lose weight, that's shorthand, right? For losing fat. We, we would love to use, lose 100% of the weight on the scale that we lose. 100% of that should come from fat. And this is a way for us to maximize the loss of fat while we're maintaining muscle mass, right? So what we're really trying to do is not really lose weight. What we're trying to do is change our body composition so that we're losing fat and maintaining or gaining muscle, right? The best thing in the world that you could actually do is not lose a pound on the scale. I actually don't care about the pounds on the scale. What I care is that you lose a pound of fat and you either maintain or gain a pound of muscle. Let's say you lost a pound of fat and you gained a pound of muscle. That's a net zero on the scale. Lose two pounds of fat and gain two pounds of muscle, net zero. Three pounds, three pounds, net zero. Four, four, five, five. Your weight hasn't changed, but your body has changed. Your energy has changed. Your mood has changed. Your silhouette has changed. How your clothes fit have changed, right? That's what we want. That's what we're going for. And now we're the only company that has a solution that takes you in that direction and keeps you in that direction, right? That's really important. There's a zillion weight loss products out there that can help you lose weight, most of them with stimulants, most of them with synthetic ingredients. But what happens when you lose the muscle? It makes it easier for you to gain the weight back. Um, so anyway, I could I could talk about this all all day long, um, but I won't because I want to go onto this, I want to go into this next slide. Let me see where, how I can change this. There we go. So what this is going to do for us is help with appetite control, help with cravings, help with enhancing metabolism. So what you're going to see is appetite control in a non-stimulant way. People who take GBX burn will come back almost immediately and go, you know what? I'm actually not that hungry. And that is not an appetite suppression. That's different than what we're doing here. We're helping you get in tune with your body's natural appetite signals. And so that way you're able to register, am I actually hungry or am I bored hungry? Am I actually hungry or am I stressed hungry? Am I actually hungry or am I habit hungry? And I just think that it's time to eat lunch because this is the time to eat lunch, but I'm not actually hungry for it, right? If you can get more in tune with hearing those appetite signals, and a lot of those appetite signals come from your microbiome, then you're able to uh, act on them, right? You're able to act on them appropriately and you're not eating in those in those sort of inappropriate, inappropriate situations. We're also going to be burning fat before storage. And some of that fat burning is going to happen in your muscles. We'll talk about that. Some of that fat burning is going to happen in specialized fat cells called brown adipose tissue or beige adipose tissue. We'll talk about both of those. And a big monkey wrench that gets thrown into this mix that, that causes people to have trouble losing weight is leaky gut. So by improving gut integrity, we are taking away a major, major obstacle for people to to actually go and you know lose lose the fat that they're trying to lose. Okay. So this is these are the main main benefits that you're going to get. This is what your label looks like. Beautiful orange label. So the, the you know the two products look great next to each other. The purple of uh, GBX Fit and the and the orange of of GBX Burn. Here are the here's the supplement facts panel. So you can see the ingredients. Ingredients. We've got two blends here. One of them is a thermogenic blend, and I'm going to talk about all these ingredients in turn. And the other one is a gut integrity blend. So we want you to burn calories, and we have some, and 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 burn fat. We have ingredients to do that, but we also want to maintain your your gut and your muscle function so that you're able to you know continue continue doing what you're able to do from a metabolism standpoint. So here's a little bit more about each one of these ingredients. These are the thermogenic ingredients. This is the gut integrity in ingredient. This is the muscle integrity ingredient, and I'm going to talk about each of those in some in some detail. So I put this slide up here again. You're going to see it one more time. I want to talk first about the 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 thermogenesis piece of this. So as soon as somebody hears thermogenic, they might think I'm out, right? Stimulants. I don't want to I don't want to do that. A lot of thermogenic products, like old-fashioned kind of thermogenic products, were just 
high doses of caffeine, high doses of synthetic stimulants to, to do two things, right? The way that they would try to do thermogenesis back in the day was to use a stimulant to suppress your appetite. So if you take a high dose of a stimulant, you're just not hungry, right? You just you just don't you don't have an appetite for anything. That high dose of a of a stimulant based thermogenic can also make you feel kind of jittery. And so sometimes if you're jittery, you'll go and you'll work out to sort of burn that out of your system. And sometimes you'll just sort of sit there and you'll have a pencil and you'll just be tapping that all day long, or you'll be bouncing your knee and you'll just be sort of like, like burning off fidgety calories kind of thing. It's you, people feel terrible when they're on these kinds of things. Those kinds of stimulants can increase blood pressure, increased heart rate, um, give you palpitations, interfere with sleep. Um, you take too many of those kinds of stimulants and they actually will set off a stress response in your body. So your body produces more cortisol. And what ends up happening long-term is that that cortisol comes back to you later on in the night. Once the stimulant has been metabolized out of your system, your appetite comes raging back, your, your cravings come raging back, your fatigue, your fatigue comes raging back, you feel like you've fallen off a cliff. It is a terrible, terrible way to try to go through your, your daily life being overly stimulated and agitated and irritated. And it's just nobody feels good while they're doing it. So we're coming at it from a completely, completely different perspective. Grains of paradise, like I said, is, a, is an African spice, glomerata fruit, African fruit. These are used post meal in, in Cameroon and you know, you know, places like that in West Africa to, to do this improved diet-induced thermogenesis. So you've all experienced this before. When you eat a meal, your body will try to burn off some of those calories before it stores any of those calories as, as fat. Um, so after you've had a big meal, you might feel warm, right? That warmness, that is thermogenesis, right? Generation of heat. Your body gets warmer when we when we burn burn off those calories. Some of those calories are being burned in your muscles. Some of those calories are being burned in your fat tissue, your brown fat tissue, before it's stored in your white fat tissue. These herbs will make you feel warm because they're enhancing that process. They're enhancing that diet-induced thermogenesis. So if, if we can ratchet that up a little bit, it means you're gonna burn a higher percentage of calories from each and every eating occasion so that you're less likely to store those, those calories on your body. GBX Fit is taking it off. GBX Burn is preventing it being added back on. So take it off, keep it off. Um, I'll come back and talk about that in just a little bit. Um, the bottom part of this, these two, the carrot pomace and the BCAAs, are maintaining your gut integrity and maintaining your muscle integrity. And we'll talk about we'll talk about why those are important too. So you can think about this as four ingredients, four ingredients, but it's in two sort of avenues, if you will, the top side and the bottom side. Let's so let's 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 talk about the top side first. So the top side. There are a bunch of studies that we can point to. A bunch of studies on, on, on glomerata, bunch of studies on grains of paradise, doing pretty much the same thing, depending on the design of the study. I've picked out two of them here. Anti-obesity effect of diglo diglomera, this is the brand name of the glomerata fruit that we're using, is associated with activation of the AMPK signaling pathway in 3T3L1. That's a particular kind of fat cells that we use in research studies. Adipocyte is just a big word for, for, for fat cells in mice with high fat diet-induced obesity. What they're showing here, and, 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 and then this one, Grams of Paradise, the Latin name, uh, extract activates brown adipose tissue and increases whole body energy expenditure in men. What both of these studies are looking at is the mechanism, right? What is it biologically, biochemically that these natural spices are doing in the body to generate that thermogenesis, to get us to burn more calories before we store them. And what, what they found is that they're both, both of these spices are activators of, a, of, a, of an enzyme called AMPK. AMPK stands for AMP activated protein kinase. 
big gobbledygook word that that really just refers to this master regulator of cellular energy homeostasis. So your cells are trying to maintain their energy balance. When they start getting low in energy, when AMPK starts when AMP starts going up, this this enzyme is activated to start burning more calories, to generate more energy for that cell. And so here are some of the bullet points that you see. If you can activate AMPK, it activates brown adipose tissue. This is a particular kind of fat that burns energy versus stores energy. And there are far, there are dozens of pharmaceutical companies that are trying to develop a synthetic drug to activate brown fat, to activate this, this, this AMPK. Um, it, the, the, they're not close to coming to market right now because they have a lot of different side effects. I, I'll, I'll get into that in, ju in, in just a little bit. This is a natural way to activate brown fat. Um, there's some, I have a question mark after this. There's some studies that suggest that activating AMPK using spices like this might be able to convert white adipose tissue into beige adipose tissue. So you basically have two types of fat. There's white fat, which is just a storage depot, right? That's the kind of fat that we're that we're helping to release fat from with GBX Fit. Um, GBX Burn is activating the other kind of fat, brown fat, so that we burn more calories. There's a third type of fat that's in between, and we think maybe more research needs to be done here, that we can convert some amount of that white fat, which is also inflammatory, into beige fat. So it's not quite as good as brown, but it's not quite as bad as white. And so that's a really, really cool thing that we think we can do naturally. Once you can do that, once you can activate the brown fat to burn and then activate the white fat to release, what you're starting to see are, th are benefits like this, improved glucose balance, um, we have a saying in metabolism research that fat burns in the flame of carbohydrate. So we actually want to have a little bit of carbohydrate metabolism going on. That's blood sugar control. Because if we have better blood sugar control, we will be better fat burners. So th th there's a, there are a lot of layers of metabolism that we're activating in the right direction here with these natural spices. So improved glucose balance, induction of this process called autophagy autophagy, which is a cellular cleanup pathway. This isn't directly related to weight loss, but it is related to longevity. It is related to your cells just being healthier and more, more resilient to whatever stresses they're going to be under. It activates the mitochondria. The mitochondria, probably most of you guys who are watching, understand are there other energy powerhouses of the cell. This is where we generate the energy for the cell. So we're able to get energy, but in a non-stimulant way because we're, we're activating and protecting the mitochondria. We're enhancing lipolysis and beta oxidation. So lipolysis is the release of the fat from the storage. Beta oxidation is the burning of the fat. So you actually need both of those to have true fat burning. Um, and then enhances total energy expenditure. So calorie burning. The, this is what we feel, right? You're not feeling your beta oxidation. You're feeling warm, right? That's the thermogenesis. So if you activate AMPK, you get all these benefits. So we're taking metabolism in the right direction because we're naturally activating this master regulator of the body's entire energy, energy balance, right? There's a downside with activating AMPK, right? So AMPK is going to be we could broadly think of it as being catabolic in certain ways, right? Because it's breaking things down. It's breaking things down in the cell. That's what autophagy is, cellular cleanup. You're breaking down dysfunctional proteins. You're breaking down misfolded proteins. And we're using those building blocks to build up other healthy areas of the cell, right? It's a good thing. But activating AMPK too much could actually cause you to break down your muscles, right? Remember what I said just a few minutes ago, that our laboratory at Rutgers was the first one to find when we're activating these processes to burn fat, we're also burning and losing fat. We're also burning and losing muscle. We're also burning and losing bone. We're also burning and losing a whole bunch of things. So, you know, we don't want to be doing that for every tissue. What if you could selectively change these metabolic signals so that we can activate AMPK just for the fat burning 
And then we could activate other pathways to maintain muscle mass so that we're not losing the muscle. Wouldn't that be a cool thing? It would be a really cool thing. And we're going to talk about that in just a second. But before we get there, um, right after we launched this in New Orleans, uh, we had a nice session. We talked about the new products. You know, I, I gave my little scientific song and dance, and then uh, the sales and marketing folks got up and told how we were going to, you know, bring this product out to the world and the different promotions that they were going to do and all that kind of stuff. Um, I went up to my my hotel room that night, and I'm checking my emails before we went out to dinner. Um, and in my email box that night of the launch was this, what you see on the screen right now. This is the future of wellness report from the Global Wellness Summit put, put out by the Global Wellness Institute. Um, this is their 2023 trends report. Um, every single year for probably the last, I don't know, 30 or so years, um, GWS and GWI have been putting out their trends report where they say these are going to be the biggest trends this year in the entire in the entire wellness sector. Um, and it's really cool. Amari has always been ahead of these trends, right? So before the microbiome was a thing, we were doing it. Before mental wellness was a thing, we were doing it. You know, it, 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 before people were talking about their immune system pre-pandemic, we were doing it. And we were using the immune system as a part of the axis to get our, our two brains to talk to each other. So I, I was very excited. I opened up the trends report to just like scan down and see, see what big trends they were identifying for the for the year. And the number six trend was activating brown adipose tissue. And I just went, are you kidding me? The number one trend was solving the connection, the human connection problem that we have, the loneliness epidemic. That's what our CEO, Jared Turner, talked about in his presentation. And so it's just blows my mind that when we're, whether we're talking about sort of like a societal shift, like, you know, strengthening social connections, our CEO is talking about it. When we're talking about a, 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 a scientific trend like this, where the science has been building and building and building, building, and Global Wellness Institute now is saying, this is the year that it's going to tip and it's going to become a big deal around the world. You know, that's, that's what I was talking about. So here are the three times of, three types of fat, brown fat, beige fat and white fat. So we want more brown fat because that's the kind that's going to be burning our calories, right? It's rich in blood vessels. It's rich in mitochondria. These white fat cells are basically, like I said, just storage depots. They're just like droplets of fat and we can grow them and grow them and grow them and grow them and grow them. And that's, you know, that's not what we want. This is the kind of fat that's inflammatory for a variety of reasons. This is the kind of fat that's anti-inflammatory for a variety of reasons. And then the beige fat is sort of like a push, you know, it's, it's, it's neither, it's neither bad nor, nor great, but at least it's, at least it's in the middle. And the, you know, the, 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 the conversation around this is how can we activate brown adipose tissue, brown fat cells, so that we can burn off more calories and have an anti-inflammatory effect and have a weight loss effect. And well, one way to do it is cold immersion. I don't know if any of you guys do this, but where I live here in Plymouth, Massachusetts, we have a really, really cold ocean just down the road, right? I look out at it every single day and I just shiver looking at it, right? Because it's the it's the open Atlantic um, and it's it's really, really cold. If I were to go and expose myself to that cold water on a regular basis, that would activate brown brown fat. It would activate autophagy. It would, it would activate a, a whole bunch of things. It would help my body with its stress response, you know, so there's all kinds of reasons that we that we might want to do this on a regular basis. You can even do it to a degree by taking cold showers. So, you know, you could do that. Sounds sounds uncomfortable though, doesn't it? We could also fast. This is one of the reasons that I do that I am an advocate sometimes of of fasting because fasting has been shown to activate brown brown fat cells, brown adipose tissue, um, partly through the autophagy uh, mechanisms. But we could also use targeted nutrients. Uh, for a long time, we've known that capsaicin, the compound in hot peppers that, that makes them spicy, right? That makes them hot, that can activate these pathways, partly through AMPK activation, partly through activation of, of, of other related pathways, vanilloid pathways. Cinnamon does the same thing. Creatine does the same thing. But look what else does it. Glomerata fruit 
reigns of paradise. So, you know, by all means, do your cold immersion, do your fasting, but definitely start supplementing with the nutrients that we know can have this can have this effect uh, because because we're because we're going to get those benefits. Okay, let's shift gears again. So here's this chart again. We just talked about these two ingredients, glomerata fruit and grains of paradise, can it, it, at the level of each individual cell activate AMPK, have all those benefits for blood sugar control, for fat burning, for autophagy, for you know all that wonderfulness, um, and that's and that's going to be a good thing. Let's talk about these two now. Let's talk about maintaining gut integrity and maintaining muscle integrity. There's a reason that we don't want this to be just a thermogenic, just a fat burner, because there's another big problem out there, leaky gut syndrome. Now, this isn't a disease, right? There's no disease of leaky gut. There's no drug that treats leaky gut. In fact, when you use that word, leaky gut, there'll be a certain population of the mainstream medical pathway that thinks you're a crazy person, right? So when I go give a scientific lecture about le le leaky gut, if I use that term, there's a portion of the professional audience that is thinking, leaky gut. Mm -hmm. That isn't even a thing, right? And they're thinking it's not even a thing because there's no disease designation and there's no there's no drug to treat that disease designation. But this is something where I honestly think that this is one of our major modern ailments in the world today. Look at all the things that can, well, let me explain what leaky gut is. This is what your gut lining should look like, right? Each individual intestinal cell, what are called enterocytes, should it should look like a brick wall, actually, right? Um, each one of those little squares, each one of those little bricks should be tight up to the next one with a little bit of mortar in between that we call a tight junction. And you can see them here. Here's a brick. Here's a mortar. That's a tight junction. Here's a brick. Here's the mortar. Tight junction. And there should be a whole line of those. There, your gut lining is one cell thick with a with a coating of mucus on top of it, right? To protect you, to to provide some protection. If that gets leaky, right? If there's a problem with the cell, like the the cell isn't getting its energy, uh, we actually give the this cell's main energy is an amino acid called glutamine. We give this in mentobiotics. Um, or if there's some sort of a damage at that tight junction, now you have a damaged junction. And so things that are supposed to stay in the gut, bacteria, food particles, whatever, if they can get across when they're not supposed to get across into your systemic circulation, that's going to lead to an immune system reaction. Your immune system, 70% of it lives in your gut for this exact reason, to make sure that things are supposed to stay in the gut, don't get across. When they get across, your immune system gets activated. Your immune system attacks that thing. Uh, even if it's, a, even if it's a, a benign thing, it attacks it and it sets off an oxidation reaction, it sets off an inflammatory reaction, those free radical signals, those inflammatory signals can go to your fat cells and say, hold on to fat. They can go to your brain and tell you that you're hungry. They can go to other parts of your body and tell you you're fatigued or you're moody or you're anxious. And so a lot of the, 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 the adverse mental wellness signals that we're getting through our entire gut-brain axis are coming through leaky gut. So people ask me all the time, like, you know, they'll hear that and they're like, wow, I definitely don't want to have leaky gut. Who has leaky gut and what can cause leaky gut? Well, look at some of these things that, that we have up here. Certain dietary proteins, some people, you know, can't do well with dairy proteins like casein or grain proteins like gluten. Um, uh, 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 inadequate uh, um, digestive enzymes. Antibiotics absolutely can cause uh, problems at the level of the gut. Infections, blood sugar issues can lead to a problem called glycation, which can damage the lining of the gut. Antibodies, so this is an autoimmune system problem. But look at these other diseases that can lead to leaky gut. The disease of pregnancy, the disease of stress, the disease of menopause, and I say it like that tongue in cheek, the diseases of, because we're not allowed for, you know, from a from a perspective of you know FDA to talk about pregnancy and menopause and things like that. Those are, you know, those are from my perspective as a scientist, those are natural changes of life. But from a from an FDA perspective, sometimes they're viewed as, you know, that we're talking about disease treatment. But think about this: women who go through pregnancy one pregnancy, two pregnancies, three pregnancies are more and more and more 
prone to leaky gut. Um, stress is something that happened that a lot of us think happens up here in the brain. But if you're watching me right now, you probably have a have an understanding that the stress here in the brain gets transmitted to the second brain. And one of the places that it can that it can lead to damage is at the level at the actual level of the tissue. Menopause, same thing. When you know, when when women go through that change of life, that can lead to a lot of these metabolic problems. And probably one of the most frustrating things is that women who go through menopause start gaining weight around the midsection, and they'll be so frustrated because they really haven't changed any anything in their lifestyle, they're eating pretty much the same diet, they're doing pretty much the same exercise program, maybe their sleep is disrupted at a, at a, at a higher level during menopause. Um, but the, the, they start gaining weight like crazy. And it's because of this, it's because those those menopausal changes have led to tissue changes at the level of the gut. So etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. There's all kinds of things that can lead to problems with leaky gut. And then that leaky gut leads to inflammation. It can lead to autoimmunity, where now your immune system isn't just attacking your gut and attacking the things leaking through, but now your immune system is agitated. And now it attacks your thyroid gland. And so your metabolism changes and it attacks your, you, you guys get the idea. I think that leaky gut is, um, is a is a scourge that uh, that a lot of people don't don't have a full understanding of. But if we can solve this problem for people, then they'll come back and they literally say, "Now my appetite is better. Now my clothes fit better. Now my energy is back. Now my brain fog is gone because we've solved all of this sort of static in their system." Remember what I said at the top of this call. What we're talking about when we talk about body composition changes and weight loss, it's not a math problem. It's a signaling problem. And when you have leaky gut, those signals are characterized by static. And if we can get the static out of that out of that communication system and amplify the good signals, what we can get is appetite control instead of cravings all the time. We can get energy instead of fatigue. We can get happiness instead of sadness, right? That's what we're going for is to do metabolism in the way that only the mental wellness company can do. And one, one, one way we're doing it is, 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 is by solving this leaky gut problem. Um, so if 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 you're interested in this, uh, I have a whole nother deep dive just about leaky gut, where we talk about different ways we can solve it with prebiotics and you know galacto oligosaccharides and galactomannins and you know those sorts of things. In this product, we're solving that leaky gut problem with something called RG1. That is the shorthand for this really long name of a particular. Um, uh, prebiotic fiber structure called Ramnogalacturonin 1. Uh, thank goodness we can just call it RG1. Um, you can extract it from a number of different uh, um, um, uh, uh, vegetables, right? Fibers only come from vegetables. Um, this one is called is 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 coming from a from a from a green that's used in um, Asian cooking, African cooking uh, called called uh, Molokai. Um, but we're getting it from carrots, right? Carrots are much more um, affordable. They're much more uh, available. Um, we can get them at scale instead of like, you know, going off into the, you know, Asian jungle and, you know, trying to find this stuff. This is not a very sustainable way to do it. Um, but this particular study looked at the RG1 from this plant and found some amazing, amazing metabolic benefits from tightening up those tight junctions. And so you can you can see some of them down here. So um, uh, a, a better expression of the tight junction protein, reduced gut permeability. That's the way that we say leaky gut, right? So when, when I talk about leaky gut at a scientific conference, I won't say leaky gut, except for maybe of an introduction. We will talk about gut integrity. We'll talk about gut permeability. We will talk about something called uh, metabolic endotoxemia, which means that once you have leaky gut, once you have gut permeability, the, the, the downstream effect of that is metabolic endotoxemia, meaning you get endotoxin into the blood and your metabolism goes into complete disarray. You get insulin insensitivity, your blood sugar levels fluctuate a lot, you're over inflamed, right? So it's these big scientific words to describe something that you know most people in their, in their normal conversation, normal vocabulary would just say leaky gut. So gut permeability, 
and related inflammatory markers uh, decreased. Um, the, the, this, uh, this, this fiber ameliorated gut dysbiosis, so it changed the, the balance of bacteria, more good bacteria, less bad bacteria. Um, they changed the F to B ratio. So in some of our other trials, we've been able to show that we're able to shift the microbiome pattern away from firmicutes, which are a type of bacteria that are really good at harvesting calories from your food and storing them as fat. We can shift away from those towards bacteria called bacteroides, which are less efficient at harvesting calories. So then you're able to eat food and store less calories, right? What a wonderful situation to be in just by changing the type of bacteria that are in your microbiome. And this RG1 fiber has been shown to do that. Um, there's been shown to be with this RG1 feeding an increase in acromancia. Acromancia is a type of bacteria that lives in your mucus lining. And so we use acromancia levels as a shorthand way to see if you have good gut integrity or poor gut integrity. So we can literally measure somebody's microbiome. And if their acromancia is low or undetectable, it's a sure sign that they have leaky gut. Because if there's no acromancia, that means there's no mucus lining. If there's no mucus lining, there's nothing protecting the underlying enterocytes from damage. It, it's almost 100% guaranteed that you have some leakiness there. But if we see a lot of acromancia and it's abundant, that means there has to be a good mucus lining. And the only way you can have a good mucus lining is if you have good gut integrity, right? They go, they go hand in hand with each other. So all these different signals that we're seeing in these studies to show that the metabolism is going in the right direction be, because we're using a fiber to, to, to tighten up those junctions and maintain that, that integrity. Here's why. So that's the that's the RG1. So I've talked about the two spices, thermogenics. I've talked about the RG1, carrot pomace. Uh, we use a brand called Benacaros, uh, a company out of the Netherlands that has done some amazing work around using that RG1 um, to enhance immune system function. Where does most of the immune system live? in your gut. If your immune system is functional and you have a and you have good gut integrity, your immune system is going to be stronger and sending proper signals across your gut brain axis so you can see where that where that research came from. And the last ingredient is actually three ingredients. It's this collection of branch chain amino acids, leucine, valine, isoleucine. So the reason that these are in here is that these can activate um, another signaling pathway called mTOR, right? So all this, all these, these, these acronyms and and uh, alphabet soup. mTOR stands for mammalian target of rapamycin. So you don't need to know why it's called that. There's a whole long story behind that. But this is a master regulator of muscle protein synthesis. This is this is the switch that turns on muscle building. And so I talked about this other signaling pathway called AMPK that can activate fat burning in a in a in sort of a sort of a broad sense um it, when you activate ampk it can inactivate mTOR so you ha basically have two choices you can burn fat or you can build muscle burn fat by activating ampk build muscle by activating mTOR and usually you have to choose one or the other you can't do both I want you to do both, right? That's that's the that's what we solved here with the with the GBX burn formula. We're able to give ingredients to activate AMPK and enhance fat burning at the level of those brown adipose tissue and at the level of your muscle cells because we're able to use these branch chain amino acids to sort of tweak another signaling pathway, the mTOR pathway. We know that mTOR can be activated by exercise. That's why we want you to be physically active. We know it can be activated by BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. Um, and so what this is doing is it's removing that, that block of AMPK activation. So we're activating AMPK to burn the fat, but we're activating mTOR with these other ingredients so you can keep the muscle. And so if we put all of this biochemical gobbledygook together and we use it within the context of GBX Fit helps you release, GBX Burn helps you keep it off, we can use these different signals to enhance our fat burning, enhance our muscle building, 
that's what we mean when we say that we're trying to change your body composition. Um, we, 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 again, I don't really care what the numbers on the scale say. So you can use one product to help you lose it. You can use another product to reduce your tendency to gain it. Or what I hope people will do in this upcoming challenge that we're going to be having is use both of them together to really bring together a system that I don't think the industry has ever seen before, right? You know, again, it's this is how the mental wellness company does weight loss. This is how we use the metabolic signals across the gut-brain axis. And we harness the new science of the microbiome to plug into our lifestyles to really get get us to go in the right direction. We want you to use those supplements though within the context of an overall program. So we have an entire guide, the Amari Fit Guide, that is gonna show you how to eat. This is the this is the mental fitness pyramid, the mental wellness food pyramid. So you can look at it from a pyramid perspective. You can look at it from a plate perspective. And so this is a guide. It's not to say that you have to come in here and black and white, you have to eat this way. You have to eat these foods. You have to avoid these foods. It's not that kind of a plan at all. It's a guide to say, this is what we'd like you to do. Eat more whole foods eat more fruits and vegetables, eat fewer processed foods. When I when I presented this um, in New Orleans, when we launched this product, I really talked about like, when it, when it comes to diets, right? When it comes to choosing the food that you eat three times a day or, or so, um, it, people get very passionate about it, right? And you get people who, you know, some people go, go full on towards plants and they become vegans. Other people go full on towards meats and they become carnivores. Some people come in the middle and, they, and they're flexitarians, right? And they're having a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I give some guidelines in here, right? I wrote, I wrote a whole book about this for goodness sake, right? To get people to follow a way of eating that's going to help them feel better. And whether you're going all the way to plants or all the way to meats or all the way to something else, what you're doing is going away from processed foods. And so when I was on stage, I showed a graph. I should have put it in this presentation. If you look at what people are eating right now, it's around 67% processed foods. Uh, a small percentage of, you know, so let's let's say let's say 70%, just to make the math easy for me, right? 70% of our diet is coming from processed foods. That means 30% of it is coming from non-processed foods. Um, about 15% is coming from fruits and vegetables. About 15% is coming from dairy and meats. And so if you can go away from that 70% and make a higher percentage whole fruits and vegetables, or a higher percentage whole dairy and meat, do it, right? And I don't particularly care which way you go. I just care you go away from 70% processed and make that 70%, 60%, and then 50%, and then 40%, and 30%, 20%, 10%. You guys get the idea. You'll probably never go below 10%. I don't. I'm kind of an 80-20 nutritionist, right? Where about 80% of my diet is whole stuff right? Lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of whole grains, lots of beans, lots of spices, fair amount of protein. I'm a nut for cheese and things like that. Um, so, but that's, that's better than eating cupcakes. So 80, 20, 80% good choices, 20% cheating and, and having fun with the, with the rest of your diet, because food, food should be fun and food should be celebration. So, you know, the moral of the story, and you'll see this when it's written up in the Amari Fit program, is to get you to eat more whole foods. And even of those whole foods, we can use these supplements to help us so that we release our fat and don't store as much fat, but use it in that context and your benefits are going to be so, so much greater. So we have so much information to educate people around GBX Burn, this new product. We have a product information kit. We have a product information page right on the, right on the product section of the website. We've got a whole program, the Amari Fit program that talks to you about the three pillars, basically, your movement, your nutrition, and your sleep. And they should be considered equally important, right? So 
that fourth pillar would be the supplementation piece of it, right? And just like the sense program, which is woven through this entire program, the more you can bounce from one of those to the other, you're not going to have a perfect program every day. You're not going to have a single day where it's perfect on the supplements and perfect on the exercise and perfect on the nutrition and perfect on the sleep. But the more you can sort of say, hey, today was a perfect sleep day. Today was a perfect exercise day. Today was a perfect supplement day or close enough, you know, on, on each of those, on each of those touch points. And then don't forget about evaluation, checking in with yourself to make sure, are we doing right? Do we need an adjustment? Do we need to tweak things here? So we have some, some, some really cool packs going on, right? So we launched this new product, GBX Burn. There's a pack that is a pack of fit and burn together at a special price. This is a great, great way for people to get, get both sides of that equation that I've, that I've been talking about. Take it off, keep it off. We have an expanded pack that's called the Happy Fit Pack. This brings together burn and fit, but it also brings together the entire Happy Juice Pack, which is gonna help you feel good and energy and motivation and resilience and, and all that kind of stuff. And then you get to also choose a, a, a digestive uh, um, a solution here, a digestive or a restore. So you get your probiotics and you get your digestive enzymes and, and uh, all those sorts of things. So again, at a, at a special price, but there are also promotions that are going on right now. So if you get those packs, make sure you use, where's the promo code right here? free burn and you won't just get a good price on the pack you'll also get some free products so purchase the fit and burn pack and use this code free burn you get an additional gbx burn for free and that will enable you to use the advanced dosage so we have we have recommended dosage and then we have advanced dosage so advanced dosage is basically using the products at double dosing and in the amari fit guide it's all laid out for you when to take it how to take it should you take it on an empty stomach or with food it's all in the guide and the guide is free to everybody you know once you you know once you once you get on the plan uh, that with the happy fit pack use this code free burn and you get a free GBX fit and a free GBX burn. So, I mean, these are screaming, screaming deals that will go through the end of the month. And I hope you take advantage of them because we have a really, really cool program going, uh, going, um, starting. I think what is it? today's the fifteenth. So I think the registration just started today for this, uh, for this. Um, for this challenge, this GBX burn challenge. So this is going to enable everybody to get on the products, but do it with a group. And we know there's really, really good research that if you do a weight management program or a body composition change program with friends, it's about two and a half times more effective than if you try to do it yourself. There's really, really good research to show this. Do it with support of other people. So we're, we have a private Facebook group that you can get into um, and you can you can share with the group what's working, what's not working, what your challenges are. In this group, you're gonna have access to me. I'm an expert in certain aspects of metabolism. You're gonna have access to Michael Quatch, who's our director of, of product development, who knows all about the products and all about the ingredients, but is also trained in, in mental health counseling. You know, So he knows a little bit about the psychology of what's going on for people. And then here's my proud papa moment. My daughter, Courtney Talbot, just finished her master's degree um, from Boston University in nutrition, nutrition and psychology. Um, and so, and she's, going to be the resident dietitian uh, in, in the group. So she'll be there to help people with their, with their food planning. She'll be there to help counseling. She'll be there to answer questions. She'll be doing small groups. She'll be doing one-on-ones. So you're going to have access to three experts that are trained in different ways to help get you to your goals. We're going to be able to use the Amari Fit program. We're going to be able to use the power of the of the of the crowd, so to speak, of the thousands of people that are going to be in here, all going on the same journey together. We're going to be able to use the power of these products that are harnessing the new science around the gut brain axis and the microbiome. It's going to be super, super fun. So registration opens February 15th today. It closes February 22nd, and then the challenge period is going to be 90 days between February 27th, so end of the month, 
all the way until May 29th. So this is going to set everybody up to be in your best body composition, your best energy, your best mental wellness right before summer gets here. Okay. So this is going to be a really, really cool thing. And just to incentivize you a little bit more, there's a bunch of prizes. There's going to be 25 winners across these 90 days, and you can win trips, you can win exercise equipment, you can you can you can win all kinds of you know lovely stuff, gift cards, and and all kinds of cool things. So whether you want to do it for the prizes, you want to do it for the connection that you're going to get, you want to do it for the for the health benefits and the metabolism and how you're going to fit into your new bathing suit when this when the summer comes, those are all good reasons to do it. So let me do this. That's my last slide. I'm going to go here and stop the share. Um, I could see out of the corner of my eye, there was a bunch of things um, going uh, going into the chat room. So let me look in here um, in the Zoom room. I know we're, we just turned the top of the hour, but I'm going to answer a couple of questions here. Um, how is leaky gut diagnosed? That's a good question. It's really, really difficult. This is one of the reasons that um, that a lot of people, like like um, like standard medical people, will think that it doesn't exist because there's no standard laboratory test for it. Right? It's not like you can get your cholesterol measured and say you know you're at risk or not at risk. Leaky gut isn't the same way. Um, sometimes we'll measure either in the clinic or the laboratory. We'll measure something called zonulin which if it shows up in your blood, that tells us that you have leaky gut because it's a protein that's supposed to stay in the gut. So if it's in the blood, that means it leaked across and, and that means you have leaky gut. So, so we, can, we can measure zonulin. Problem with zonulin is depending on the laboratory that you get it measured at, sometimes, excuse me, you can have some false positives. So it's not as sensitive necessarily as we'd like it to be all the time. That's why we look at acromancias. And we use that sort of a sort of as a rule of thumb. Um, so that's 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 one way. But I think that um, I think people should almost assume that they have leaky gut if you're fatigued, if you've been doing all the right things, so to speak, with your diet and your exercise and your sleep, and you just feel kind of stuck on the scale that nothing is budging. That 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 right there is a is is as as accurate as telling you that you have leaky gut as anything that I've ever seen before. And what we see is that that person that feels like they're stuck when they start on GBX Fit and now when they start on GBX Burn, they feel like they very quickly get unstuck. So if you feel like getting unstuck and feel like getting traction in your plan, this this is the program for you. Okay. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> Shalom. This is a really good point. They used to say the same thing about fibromyalgia. Yes, they did. Leaky gut doesn't exist. Fibromyalgia used to not exist. Chronic fatigue syndrome didn't used to exist. These are not diseases. These are all sort of under the umbrella of syndromes, right? And they are all dysfunctions of the signaling across the gut brain axis. And that's why when you balance your microbiome and you balance your gut brain axis as a system, the whole system starts to work better and people are more flexible and they're more energetic and they're more focused. Brain fog is one that could fall under that umbrella and they're more able to lose weight and get to that body composition that they want. So yeah, there's all kinds of things like that. Uh, there's a lot of people who are commenting about the cold baths that they take. So keep doing that, right? Keep doing your cold immersions. Um, and let me see, let me answer a couple more here. Um, uh, oh my gosh, Sandy, you're doing your triathlon. You're doing a triathlon. That is awesome. I'm wondering if GBX burn will burn too many calories. No. So uh, I have a, I have, um, what is today? Today's the 15th. On the 18th, I have a, an ultra marathon in uh, Arizona. So I'm flying out to Phoenix tomorrow to get ready for this race. And I'm going to be taking GBX fit and GBX burn to enhance my metabolism, to put me in fat burning mode so that when I'm running this hundred kilometers across the desert, my body is primed to, to maintain my blood sugar, to, to, to access my fat stores, right? Like I'm in okay shape, but I have plenty of fat on here and I want to try to access as much of that so while I'm, you know, running, running through the dark and, you know, across the, across, uh, across the cactuses. So um, let me answer one more. Um, do we stop fit and burn when we reach our ideal weight? That's a great question, right? Um, I, it really depends, right? I think what a lot of people will do, like, this is what I predict. I predict a lot of people are going to buy two bottles of each, two bottles of fit, two bottles of burn so that they can start the 90 day challenge 
with the advanced usage where you're taking two fit a day and four burn a day because each serving of burn is two. Each serving of fit is one. So you're going to take one fit and two burn, one fit and two burn throughout the course of a day. That's the advanced usage. Uh, that's what I think a lot of people are going to do because, hey, we all want you know the, the most benefits in the short amount of time. And so that's that's one of the ways to do it. I think a lot of people after that first 30 days are going to go back down to the regular usage one fit and two burn a day. Some people might go another 60 days on advance. Some people might go the whole 90 days, a 90 day challenge on advance until they get to their goal, right? Until their pants fit the, the way they want them to, until their shirts and their dresses fit the way they want to. Um, and then they might go to a maintenance dose, right? So I, I, I still take one fit every morning um, I still take two burn with my with my largest meal, and I'm not really actively trying to lose anything. I'm really trying to sort of maintain where I am. And both of those products help me feel good. They help with my energy levels. They help with my appetite. They help with my craving. So I'm less likely to, you know, reach for the thing, you know, at this time of night, you know, a little snacky thing. And so like, I think some people are just going to keep on them because they like the way it makes them feel and makes the, makes their metabolism hum. Um, but, you know, if you, if you do get down to where you want to be and you do go off the products, you might then just want to stay on happy juice or just stay on mood plus or just stay on you know vita gbx or whatever whatever mental wellness regimen you're going to be on that's going to be a very individualized situation based on you know what your lifestyle looks like what your goals are uh, and how and you know how you want to how you want to sort of show up okay so uh, with that i'm going to stop there and uh, we'll be looking for your questions and your comments in the in the facebook groups and then look for this video to be posted up to youtube uh, and the blog uh, tomorrow and share it around with as many people as you think. The more we can get into this into this challenge, uh, the merrier, right? It's gonna be it's gonna be really cool if we can get thousands of people all going in the right direction before summer. Okay, thanks you guys. Have a good night.